Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Samantha Sessions, and I'm here today to talk to you all about animal experimentation and animal testing. Many people think that they have a pretty solid idea about what exactly animal experimentation is, and many people are trying to fight against it. But do they really know what they're fighting for? I do, and I'm here today to talk to you all about animal experimentation. Each year, more than 100 million animals, including mice, cats, dogs, rabbits, birds, fish, and more are killed in U.S. laboratories for multiple reasons, including biology lessons, medical training, and even curiosity-driven experimentation. Some other reasons include chemical, drug, food, and cosmetic testing. Many animals have to be euthanized after testing. Sadly, the U.S. allows animals to be burned, shocked, poisoned, isolated, starved, drowned, addicted to drugs, and even brain damaged. No matter how cruel and heartless these actions are, painkillers aren't required. Even when the alternative use of animals is available, the law does not require them to be used, and often aren't. To make matters worse, animals are infected with diseases they would never normally contract. Tiny mice grow tumors the size of their own bodies, kittens are purposefully blinded, rats are made to suffer seizures, and primate skulls are cut open and electrodes are implanted. Experimenters force feed chemicals to animals, conduct repeated surgeries on them, plant wires in their brains, and even crush their spines. If the poor animals are lucky enough to survive the grueling process, they're just dumped carelessly into a cage that highly resembles a prison cell. Video footage from the laboratories shows animals quaking in fear every time someone walks past their cages, all because they don't know if they're going to be dragged out for an injection, blood withdrawal, painful procedure, unneeded surgery, or death. To make it worse, the pain that they endure is useless. Just because said products are safe on the animals doesn't mean that it's safe for consumers. Currently, nine out of 10 experimental drugs fail in clinical studies because we cannot accurately predict how they will behave in people. So here's my question for you all today. Are you going to just sit there and watch the serious injustice happen? Or are you going to take a stand with me and organizations such as PETA? Helping to end animal experimentation is actually easier than you think. Here are four simple things that you can do to help. One, make sure that you always buy cruelty-free products. Two, educate others, spread the word, tell your family and friends that what these experimenters are doing is wrong. Three, make sure to always speak out against classroom dissection. And four, make donations to help PETA. They are a nonprofit organization and all of the proceeds go towards helping to end animal experimentation. So what do you say? We can save so many innocent lives that have been taken advantage of. We can make a huge difference in the world if you band with not only me, but the millions of others in the fight against animal experimentation. Thank you for your time.